Sisters and brothers in Christ, each year the Diocese of Alexandria celebrates a Blue Mass, honoring those men and women who work in the fields of public safety. We are invited to pray for federal, state, and local law enforcement officers, correctional officers, firefighters, 911 responders, EMS personnel, and other professionals who often put their own lives on the line to keep us safe. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we cannot gather to celebrate the Blue Mass in 2020. This is particularly sad because those in the public safety professions need our prayers more than ever in these difficult times. We live in a society that is torn apart by political differences, religious tensions, economic hardships, systemic racism, and many other human conflicts. In these last few months here in Louisiana, we have endured hurricanes, lockdowns, and social distance. In some instances, those events have brought us together as never before. We've seen neighbor helping neighbor to clear trees, share generators, and provide food and shelter. Tragically, we have also witnessed acts of violence perpetrated by those who demonstrate a lack of empathy for others who are suffering. In the isolation of this pandemic, struggles with mental health have become more obvious and tensions in the home have resulted in an increase in domestic abuse. Those who work in the public safety professions are the ones who deal with these issues firsthand. They are the ones called in to restore or maintain peace, to separate those in conflict, and to rescue us from human and natural disasters, and to bring healing to those who are suffering. Our first responders step into the breach of conflict or danger and are often asked to do so without regard to their own safety. They are, in the words of St. Francis of Assisi, instruments of God's peace. It is to them that we offer our deepest gratitude and our heartfelt prayers for their safety and security. In the Gospel of St. Luke, we hear a parable about a man beset by robbers. They left him injured and alone. Several people saw him and did nothing to assist him, crossing the street lest they should come in contact with him. Only a foreigner, a Samaritan, came to the aid of this victim of robbery. He treated and bound his wounds and took him to an inn where he could care for him. In so many instances, our public safety professionals are the good Samaritans of our times. When others walk by or run away from the tensions of our society, from the dangerous or uncomfortable situations, our first responders rush in to help. Tragically, the courage and training of our public safety professionals is sometimes not enough to prevent injury or death, whether to the perpetrator, the first responder, or to innocent bystanders. This is the danger and the heartache that these officers confront on a daily basis. Day in and day out, our first responders risk it all in an effort to help those in need. We pray for them this day even as we renew our own commitment to find more constructive approaches to issues of mental health, domestic violence, substance abuse, economic injustice, and other problems. We pray also for those first responders who have been killed in the line of duty, as well as for the comfort, consolation, and support for the families they left behind. May we respond to their needs with a measure of the zeal with which their loved one responded to our needs. Finally, we pray especially for the safety of our first responders in the midst of this pandemic. As some among us do our best to wear masks, wash our hands frequently, and maintain social distance, we are aware that many among us are choosing not to be so careful. It is often these people with whom our first responders come in contact. We ask God to keep them safe from the coronavirus and from every other danger. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of mercy, who through your Son gave us a marvelous example of charity and the great commandment of love for one another. 
send down your blessings on our public safety professionals who so generously devote themselves to helping others. Grant them courage when they are afraid, wisdom when they must make quick decisions, strength when they are weary, and compassion in all their work. When the alarm sounds and they are called to aid both friend and stranger, let them faithfully serve you in their neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.